Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, on the Bitcoin chart, we're still printing higher highs, higher lows. We've now nearly reached my next upside target at 95,087. I've added another layer of microstructures. Um, best I can tell, we are dealing here with an um, with an ending diagonal. As you know, we talked about that anyway, but I've added sort of, a, let's say, a microstructure within the third wave to the chart indicating we could see 97,350, maybe even a bit higher. We'll see, we'll take it level by level at the moment. We're dealing with a, as I said, with a diagonal pattern. Bitcoin still, Bitcoin still strong. Uh, all the, uh, the money seems to be flowing into Bitcoin from, from some altcoins today. Um, and again, you know, we, we, we continue to see that uh, pattern unfold further that the altcoins, they just can't get a sustained rally at the moment. Looking at Bitcoin dominance, we still see another move to the upside. And this is still in line with my wave count on the Bitcoin dominance chart and that we could be reaching 64.4% next. And, uh, you know, we're getting closer and closer. So actually, momentum is still increasing. Now, a lot of people expected a break to the downside from here. And I also told you, look, this seems likely, but the wave count is still not full. I mean, now it is, but still... Um, that fifth wave would normally uh, unfold a little higher, right? And if this is anyway, if this is the correct wave count, I mean, I, I'm just doing this. I don't want to say for fun. It's not for fun, but I do this to give you some idea like tendencies, right? Um, doing a wave count on Bitcoin dominance, it is not reliable, but a lot of you guys asked me for it. So, you know, I give it a try um, on Bitcoin dominance. It's, it's really just that. But so far, it's been guiding us higher. And, you know, this would be my best guess for this fifth wave and again it's not because it's not a tradable asset so we can't really say you know alien waves work on this but it still gives us an idea of the structure and we can use it to identify tendencies and this is something that could unfold here as a as a wave three now of five then another four or five pattern is still not full and we are moving up in this pattern which looks strange, but it looks like a larger three wave move. I mean, that's what I've been tracking, right? And we've talked about it like a wave, like a wave one down, maybe a wave two to the upside. And this is the standard resistance area. We're in resistance without any break of support. What I would need to, to see minimally to suggest that we are starting to break down. I mean, really minimally is a break below the last swing low at 59.5%, better a break below 58.5%. But this is not, as I said, not reliable, but it's pointing towards 64.4%. And um, yeah, crazy. You know, still going higher. Now, don't think that I'm expecting a third wave down. I mean, it's just, again, we're only using this to identify tendencies. It could also simply be, um, as let's say, something like a sideways triangle that's playing out here. Um, like, um, let me show you like let me show you here like um, what we say okay maybe an a wave down b wave up you know um c wave down d wave up e wave down or something but it's not so important um what what really is important is that we are still in an uptrend here locally and it takes a break below certain levels that i mentioned to to trigger the next move down even that move down would be a substantial um let's call it altcoin season yeah possibly but it hasn't started yet. So that's what, what, what could still happen, what a lot of people are waiting for, but I'm always a fan of focusing on the present. We can only focus on what we see right now in the chart. Bitcoin dominance is still going up, right? That's still in line with what I often say that a lot of the altcoin charts are poor quality and they are many of them are moving only in diagonal patterns at the moment. Um, also relating to the, to the Ethereum chart, it still is being outperformed by Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is still leading the market. It's worth paying attention to this while still being very mindful of um, or aware of local altcoin setups that provide a good reward to risk ratio. But looking at the micro count here for Bitcoin, the idea is a fourth wave bottom tier. We could be moving higher in line with um, expectations at the moment. Remember what I posted, like, was it last week or so? I cannot rule out a direct move to 100K. So again, you know, it's we take it level by level. We're in the late stages of this rally that started down here on the 4th of November. In the late stages doesn't mean we have topped, you know. And bear in mind what I, what I mentioned in the last video, I, if this is topped, we expect like a possibly 15% pullback, but I'm not expecting this to be a major top. 
this is just going to be a normal pullback most likely but you still need to be aware of that risk like 15 percent can catch a lot of people off guard so still pushing a bit higher if that's really a c wave here i mean we're now really diving into the microstructures i mean then we talk about the 100 percent extension yeah see that's already at 97k so i mean if we really push higher that c wave might take us to 97 and then we can get another four five that might actually take us closer to 100k so exciting but altcoins are still a bit disappointing so no change until and that is when i would have to consider that we might have topped already i mean it's, it's moved up far enough i mean i could even say and that's just something to be aware of one two three four five the top could be in at any point so it's important to be aware of the key levels that confirm a breakdown so the first level would be 91,450, that last swing low, the first level. Better would be a break below 88,750 as a confirmation we've topped. Then we need to look at the structure and that would begin the top confirmation process. Yeah, that's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.